Well, I want to welcome everyone out to another episode of A Founder's Journey. This is an exciting uh, time. This we, I've got two people on with me today and, and, and two amazing guys. Paul Jones, who is the Chief Community Officer and for NEO-ITO and also the founder of Bridgeo, and also Brian Chapman, who is the president of NEO-ITO. And so uh, this is a little different episode because we're going to talk about some of the changes that are happening inside the community. But first of all, let's let's kind of give a background on, on both you guys. And uh, let's start with you, Paul. Let's about your background. Sure. Hey, everybody. Uh, I'm excited to be here. Thank you, Michael. It's always fun to interact with other founders and to talk about the amazing community that we've built the last couple few years. So uh, my name is Paul Jones. I am um, an entrepreneur. I've been involved in many different um, organizations, started organizations, sold organizations. And um, right now, with being over the community here at New ITO, I have the amazing opportunity to meet with founders on a regular basis, bring founders together inside of our community, share challenges and problems. And um, we've been doing it for about two years now, and um, we have dove into, you know, we've asked the members, we've talked to the members, and we've made some changes that I think are going to be really, really exciting. So um, that's been my involvement with uh, the new ITO founders group that we'll be talking a little bit more about. Oh, that's great. Hey, oh, thanks, Paul. Brian, tell us a little more about your background. That's great. Well, I'm excited uh, to be here. Um, I've also uh, been a founder myself, starting a SaaS business after working at big companies for a long time in technology. Um, and so I'm just really passionate about the founder's journey. And that's what makes, you know, kind of getting to partner with Paul and Michael on um, in this community, just a no brainer. Um, we, we really enjoy digging into to problems and the, you know, the issues that founders care about most. Um, in coming alongside this organization and this group, um, Paul and I really felt like it was time for a refresh to really think, cons- reconsider, you know, who are we for? And so we met with uh, a bunch of community members and really, really kind of honed um, our positioning to focus on bootstrap SaaS founders as kind of our core audience. And so that's really who was already enjoying the time. And so it made sense to kind of double down. And so we're really passionate about um, driving customer value and so- and funding our companies from customer revenue. That's something we're really passionate about. We are, we're, we're explicit about wanting to um, celebrate wins. Um, we think that founders have a very specific um, uh, value to other founders. And part of that is to celebrate wins, but it's also, you know, founders need founders to be um, successful. And so that's really a huge part of bringing um, our, our community together. Um, we also are, um, we're all about um, I'm thinking about our other values. Um, we're all about, uh, you know, celebrating growth. Wins. So, yeah, celebrating growth. wins. Yeah. yeah, celebrating wins. Personal growth. Um, so, um, and you know, the the these are these are the cultural uh, values that were already present that we just want to amplify. Um, mm-hmm. And so that's really why we've kind of rebranded as Kickstarter founders to to sum up all those um, good things that are already Kick-ass happening. Success founders. What a, and, and it, attract, it took a while to get there. <laughs> it, took, it took quite a journey. You know, um, we were, uh, it was, re- it was a really fun journey. And, and uh, that's one thing I appreciated about you, Brian, was um, being able to come in and, and we've been on many phone calls with, with a lot. We've asked a lot of the existing members, like what, what would be valuable. And so in a lot of ways, repositioning our community was, in a lot of ways, like building a product, um, identifying voice of community, identifying what was important to people. And so I think that you nailed, uh, when you, when you mentioned those values, those are the things that have come out and we were, we're now a few meetings in and we're getting some really great positive feedback. Like founders really do need founders. And we try to create an ecosystem in a space where you can be vulnerable and, and chat about your challenges. I literally today just read a personality report on myself. And so it's like strengths, weaknesses and my weakness is working with detail-oriented people i don't know how many founders out there are like that right (laughs) and and so i love coming into the community and being like hey guys um people feel like i steamroll them when it comes to ideas because i bring so much excitement and energy to it what are some ways that i can lead better in that way right or or hey we just went through our beta and our beta sucks and it's going terribly what can I do to pivot? What can I do to change? And so 
Um, these are the things that when you talk about, when you were talking about Brian, one of the fun foundational principles out there was customer dollars is greater than investor dollars because it's about value focus. And as founders, I think it's, it's very pertinent to us because we are the ones that have to discover the value proposition. We're the ones that have to discover the personas that we're pursuing. So this is like a whole world that is so nuanced that you have to bring founders together to share their perspectives on how they have done it and the strengths that they brought to it. And I thought, and I think that anyway, it was a fun project to work on with you, Brian, and, and I'm excited to have you involved. Thanks, hey, Paul. Question for you guys. Uh, you know, I mean, as we get into the real mechanics, what does it look like when somebody comes to one of these events? Um, well, one of the things that we do is people come in, uh, we do a Zoom meeting. It's an hour long. Um, we'll usually tip pick a big topic that's been upvoted by everyone as the biggest challenge for that month. Um, so it might be related to beta release. It might be related, like I mentioned in my example. Um, Brian, I don't know if you have other ideas that come to mind of recent chat storm topics that we've covered. Yeah, we've talked about hiring salespeople. We've talked about, yeah. um, you know, uh, choosing a target ICP. Um, so some real, real key challenges. Yeah. So, so we'll spend some time on, on do, you know, unpacking that and, and spreading innovation out, having everyone contribute so that you can see the responses from everybody. And then we actually go into small breakout rooms where we give everyone a chance to, it's like a mini mastermind. We give everyone a chance to share a challenge that they have. And those breakout rooms really are, I think, kind of the, the, the key, one of the core value for folks um, and folks have really gotten a chance to know, get to know other founders, connect outside of our meetings um, you know, the, the founder journey can be lonely depending on the life stage and, and the, the, the founders, co-founders you might have. Um, so it's, it's just a really important aspect, uh, you know, for us to, for people to find partnership, um, and encouragement along that journey. What have, what have been some of the feedback you've had after these, these last few of those attending? What have you been hearing from those people? Yeah, it's been it's been pretty strong. I think the 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 kind of making a, a conscious choice of focusing in on a software as a service businesses is something that's resonating, um, as well as the um, kind of you know choosing to set aside a little bit of the um, how to go find money and in investment dis discussions and really focus in on um, driving customer value. Those are two two things we we've heard from a lot of people um, are really resonating. You know, and I'm, I'm thinking if somebody's sitting there listening to this and they're going, hey, you know, I don't know, what would be, what would be the, the if you had to do like a sales, what would be the big sales thing for somebody to say, hey, yeah, this is why you should actually just go ahead and come, you know, the, the big plug, you think? I mean, I think it's, it's a very um, welcoming uh, community. I mean, I'm, fa I'm fairly new, so I can say that with confidence that it's been very welcoming, um, very approachable. These are, and these are folks who have uh, quite a bit of um, success. Yeah. Um, and have a lot to offer in terms of um, insights, yeah. uh, especially as we get down to the, the the core issues in the breakout sessions. We'll be discussing some pretty hardcore problems, whether it's founder discord or or growing sales or honing in on product. Um, so it's it's very meaty in terms of content, but I think these are people that you want to you know have a beer with as well. Mm -hmm. well, it seems like a lot of more serial entrepreneurs. They this is not their first rodeo. So you get to go rub shows people who've done this multiple times and had both both successes and failures, right? Which you learn Absolutely. both. <laughs> and that's that's kind of the idea, right? Is that yeah, successes and failures. Sometimes you win, and sometimes you learn. Mm -hmm. And so I would say you can't afford not to join some kind of group right. with other founders because. Otherwise, you're isolated and you're making the same mistakes over and over again, and, and you're not getting good outside perspective. Yeah, sure, you have a board meeting, maybe you have investors, and that, and that's a good, you know, that's that's a good base. But being in the speaking with someone that's in the trenches right next to you is invaluable. And so that's that's really the kind of ecosystem that we try to create is a, a place where you as a founder can come, raise your hand, and also celebrate the wins that you're having. You know, I was thinking about last event, like last, our last month's event. And one of the founders was like, Hey, I've, uh, I, I lost my funding, but I'm going to keep going. And everyone else is like, don't give up, keep going. And how often do we as founders need that? Because you end up feeling like you're, you're 
crazy for for envisioning a future that nobody else has seen. So either you're insane or you're going to make this happen. And so when you get with founders who are like, go, keep going, keep going. It's just invaluable, I think. Absolutely. When I when I built my SaaS company, I it was very tempting to sort of stay in my hole. Um, and it's a you know it, it's I just I, that's one regret I have is is not getting into a community like this. I think it would have been um, transformational. Well, so you used to, Paul used the word uh, silos, and and you often use with innovation. Hell, those don't go hand in hand, right? <laughs> you know, we were talking about that for a little bit. About the about how you you, you move you you cross the silos and, and it, when you when you when you have that cross pollination that's when when you start seeing the innovation right absolutely oh totally yeah absolutely yeah the the getting out of our getting out of our uh, little uh, our little self reinforcing um, reality distortion field um, is yeah. is uh, is critical and it's hard to it's hard to do when you know potentially everybody you interact with is either a client or a um, someone who works for you. That's, that's an echo chamber. <laughs> so <Yeah. laughs> it's hard to, it's hard, you know, it's hard to get uh, outside of, you know, in, input in that. And, um, and it's low, it's low risk too. I think, you know, you might have advisors and, um, and, fa- you know, funders, um, but there's obviously, uh, you know, we've got to be careful with being super vulnerable in those moments. And so this is really also a, a pretty safe place, honestly, where people are going to, um, you know, not judge us and and kind of give us, you know, that that little pep talk or that little input that we need. Well, and, you know, kind of bringing that around to an example, just think about building a product and think about MVP. I mean, talk about like if you're siloed, okay, when do you stop? What what do you define as an MVP? How do you know when to release that MVP? When you go to release that MVP, how do you go about doing it? Like these are, these are, there are so many points along even that one little journey that you can waste a lot of money oh, and yeah. time. And, you know, how often do we as founders like retreat down to the basement and think we're building a product that everyone's going to like only to release it and discover that that's not exactly what they wanted. So <laughs> it is all it, about it happens the pivots. best of us. Yeah. yeah it, and so being able to gather as a group and say, hey, I'm about to do this. Um, is, is amazing because people can say, well, this is how I did it. And this is what I learned. And so these are things that you remember. Um, and and it, it doesn't have to be necessarily even related to MVP. I'm just using that as an example. It could right. be to like growing revenue. You know, you get to 10 million and you start bringing in infrastructure. That's a, that's a totally different leadership game, right? So if you're going to navigate that as a founder, you're going to need some people that have done that before. So um you've got to find a place where you can have access to those, those resources. Well, it's been great. Hey, um, tell me guys, if, uh, if someone has more questions, how can they get a hold of you? How can they, so they can ask those questions? Well, I'm at, uh, Brian at neoito.com. Um, that's my email and I'm on active on LinkedIn. Um, I'm excited to connect with, with, with folks. Yeah, same here. Paul at neoito.com. And you can you can also find me on uh, on LinkedIn as well. That's the best place. Well, this has been great. Uh, any last thing, words before we, we uh, call it a, a time? No? Okay. Keep building. Thanks. Keep building, keep going, and keep kicking sass. We're, we're, right. we're here to support. So right. let's rock and roll. Right. Hey, thanks, guys.